Kigori is an application and platform that we're building with the goal of supporting educators and implementing more experiential education activities in their classroom. I was a school social worker for five years and as a school social worker, teachers often came to me with problems regarding their students' behavior and emotions. Experiential education is basically learning by doing any activity, after which you have a, you follow the experiential learning cycle. With all the research in the field, we know that experiential education is powerful and has been proven to be able to change lives. Within my schools, uh, teachers loved the ideas of experiential education. They want to do the activities in their classroom, but they never had time because they had too much curriculum to teach. Uh, it was also difficult to find resources to support the activities, and oftentimes they didn't have the knowledge that comes with facilitating. Social emotional learning as well as experiential learning adds depth to our curriculum. However, there are points in the curriculum where there is a lot of stress uh, in terms of breadth, trying to cover breadth versus depth, and teachers are gonna fold generally due to the amount of stress to make sure they check every box in the curriculum. Somebody who recognized the impact and the power that experiential education can have I came up with an idea to support educators in using more activities. Kikori aligns activities with teaching standards, so teachers are able to go online and easily find an activity that fits into their math class, English class, science class, which is followed by processing questions, so they're very easily able to facilitate not only their curriculum, but also the social-emotional outcomes that their students are looking for. One of the reasons why we're creating Kikori is to democratize access to experiential education. Within high-income schools, they often have these activities within programs as part of their learning curriculum across the board. But in low-income schools, they often use more traditional teaching methods, which decrease creativity as well as critical thinking skills and don't allow students to have as many opportunities to work together and build empathy.